Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to continue showing you how to do the crocheted shells. This one is called the Simple Shells and it's a moderately large motif. So the shells come out a little larger than in our la the last one that I showed you. So let's get started. So we're going to start with our slip knot. And then for our chain, it's going to be a multiple of six. And to do your chain, you just grab your yarn, bring it through, and you'll continue doing that until you have your multiple of six. For mine, for this example piece, I'm going to do um, just a 24 for my multiple of six. So I'll meet you at the end of my chain. And once you've reached your multiple of six, for me it is 24, you're going to add another five. So you're not, when you're counting your chains, remember you don't count the loop that's on your hook. So this one's 24 right here, and I'm going to add five more. So one, two, three, four, and five. And to begin, we're going to skip the first three chains, one, two, three. We're going to work into the fourth chain from the hook, and I'm going to be working in these loops on the back here. We're going to do one double crochet, so yarn over, go through that loop, pull up your loop, and then grab your yarn, pull through two, grab your yarn, and pull through two. Now in the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochets into the same stitch. There's one and two right there into that same stitch. I'm going to chain one and then do two more double crochets into that same stitch. So on this one stitch, you've got two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. Now we're going to yarn over and come to this next stitch, go through there, bring up our loop, grab your yarn, pull through those first two loops, and then we're going to skip three, one, two, three, yarn over, go through this next one, bring up your loop, and then you're going to grab your yarn, pull through two loops, grab your yarn, pull through two loops, grab your yarn, and pull through two loops. And that brings you back down to just the one loop on your hook. And we're going to repeat that process. So the very next chain, we're going to do two double crochets, chain one, and then two more double crochets. So bring up your loop and do your double crochet. And so now we have two double crochets in that same stitch, chain one, and then do two more double crochets right back into that same stitch. Okay, now we're going to come down to this next stitch, yarn over, go through your, under your loop, grab your yarn, and then pull through two, you're going to leave these two here for now. We're going to skip three, yarn over, go into that fourth one, bring up your loop, and then pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And so that's your pattern. 
we'll go to this next stitch and we're going to do the two double crochets chain one do two more double crochets into that same stitch and we'll come to this next stitch yarn over bring up our loop pull through just the first two skip three yarn over bring up your loop and then you'll pull through two pull through two and pull through two at this point it kind of looks a little funky but as you work it it'll straighten out and start to actually look like shells so don't worry if it's looking a little funny looks like I've got just enough to finish up this row so I'm going to do my two double crochets into this next stitch chain one and then do two more into that same stitch okay and then we'll yarn over Go into this next stitch and tighten that up a little bit so it might be a little difficult. Come on. There we go. And pull through two. Yarn over skip three go through that stitch bring up your loop pull through two pull through two pull through two and that should if everything worked out right leave you with one last one and you're just going to do a double crochet there we go now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and turn your work. So to begin this row, you're going to do one double crochet in this first stitch here. And then you're going to do in that next stitch right before all of your double crochets in this chain space here we're going to do our two double crochets chain one and then two more into that same stitch And then our next stitch is right here at the beginning of our little shell and that's where we're going to go through, pull up our loop, pull through two, keep those on and then we're going to skip three, so one, two, three, that puts us over here, yarn over, bring up your loop and then pull through two, pull through two and pull through two. In this next space, we're going to do our two double crochets into that same space, chain one, and then do two more double crochets into that same space. And we'll yarn over, come into this next stitch through the first two leaving two on your hook you're going to skip three come over here yarn over bring up your loop and then you're going to pull through two pull through two and pull through two which puts you back down to just one 
loop on your hook. And I'm going to go ahead and talk you through all the way to the end of this row. So our next stitch here, we'll do the two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, all in that one stitch. So there's two of my double crochets, chain one, and then do two more double crochets. And we'll come here, yarn over, go to this next stitch, bring up your loop, and then pull your yarn through the first two loops. You're going to skip three, yarn over, go into that fourth stitch there, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And then we'll do our two double crochets into this next stitch chain one and then do two more right into that same stitch and in your next stitch you're going to yarn over bring up your loop grab your yarn pull through the first two and then you're going to skip one two Skip the next three, yarn over, go through that fourth stitch, bring up your loop, grab your yarn, pull through two, grab your yarn, pull through two, grab your yarn, pull through two. And then in the next stitch, we're just going to do a double crochet by itself. And we will chain three, one, two, three, and repeat that same process that we just did. So from here on out, you're going to be repeating this same process until you have the end of your row. So I'll go ahead and show you one more row. I'm going to start with one double crochet into that first space there. In the next stitch, we're going to do our two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets all into that same stitch. The next stitch, you'll yarn over, bring up your loop, Grab your yarn, pull through the first two, leaving two on your thing. You're going to skip three stitches and yarn over, go into that fourth stitch, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And then in the following stitch, you'll make your shell again. So two double crochets into that seam one stitch, chain one, and then two more double crochets into that same stitch. Yarn over, go through the next stitch, bring up your loop, grab your yarn, pull through those first two loops. You're going to skip three, yarn over, go into that fourth stitch, and then you'll pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Okay, a couple more times. So in the next stitch, we're going to make our shell. So yarn over, do two double crochets into that stitch, chain one, do two more double crochets into that same stitch. Yarn over, come to this next stitch, pull through the first two, leaving two loops on your hook, skip three, and into that fourth one, you'll yarn over, go through, pull up your loop, grab your yarn, pull through two, 
pull through two and pull through two. And we'll yarn over. In this next stitch, we're going to make our shell. So we'll do two double crochet, chain one, and then into that same stitch, do two more double crochet. And we're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, grab our yarn, pull through those first two loops, skip the next three, and then we'll come over here, bring up our loop, and then pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And then that will leave you with this one last stitch that you will do your double crochet. Just put it in that space there. Whoops, what did I do? Yarn over, pull through your space, and do your double crochet. And then you'll chain three and repeat what you just did until you have the number of rows that you are looking for. And here we are. I've worked up a few more rows and you can see how your shells really kind of form. And it looks the same on the, the back. And there you have it. That is how you do the simple shells. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.